Yo, what's good peeps? Let's quickly run through five games that I think is worth grabbing in the month of April. Number five. Duel with up to four players and scramble after gems as your favorite heroic or villainous knights in Shovel Knight Showdown. All the classic Shovel Knight characters you know and love are playable, many for the first time ever, and you also get an opportunity to gather your pals for the endless multiplayer clashes or take control of your favorite characters and dig into the story mode. Now, keeping it real, this is actually one of those games that I'm taking a punt with recommending as I don't really know what to expect from this particular game, but from the look of the trailer and also from some of the gameplay footages that I've seen online, this does look like one of those games that if you do get four people to play with, you're definitely bound to have a great time. Number four. Father, forgive us. World War Z's co-op campaign focuses on unique survivor story and missions around the globe, including New York, Moscow, and Jerusalem. Use traps, barriers, and environments strategically to stay alive while unleashing a storm of firepower with a variety of weapons on the unrelenting hordes of the undead. Now, when this game was originally announced, it was certainly a game that definitely caught my attention as it just looked like a really interesting game, and I do think that there's certainly room in the market for a game like this to definitely surface. Phoenix Wright Ace Eternity Trilogy allows you to experience the original trilogy like never before in clear, high resolution, redrawn graphics and immersive 3D visuals. Objection! It's crazy to think that I've been playing Ace Eternity games since the early days of having my iPhone. I think it was either on the iPhone 3 or maybe the iPhone 4, so pretty much years ago. So now that we do get the opportunity to play this trilogy on our consoles, it's certainly something that I'm personally looking forward to revisiting. I definitely enjoyed the story and even just some of the game mechanics behind some of these games, so I'm definitely looking forward to seeing how it pans out on either my Xbox One or PS4. Days Gone is set in a post-apocalyptic world where the story focuses on Deacon St. John's, a former biker gang member trying to survive. He basically declares himself a bounty hunter and alludes to all the time in the past with his brotherhood. Now technically this game should actually be sitting in the number one position for games to must buy in the month of April 2019 as this has been a game that I've been pre for such a long time and now we're drawing even closer to finally playing this gem is definitely great times ahead. As much much hype that's surrounding this particular game I actually do think that this game is definitely going to be an exceptional game and given PlayStation's track record when it comes to exclusives on the console I'm confident that this will be up there with the games of the year for 2019. This ring. Sitting in the number one position for me for the month of April for the must buy games is definitely Mortal Kombat 11. The new graphics engine showcasing every skull shattering eye popping movement brings you closer to the fight than you can ever expect and featuring a roster of new and returning classic fighters Mortal Kombat's best in class cinematic story continues the epic saga of over 25 years in the making. Keeping it real, back in the days I wasn't the biggest Mortal Kombat fan as Street Fighter was probably my personal favourite when it comes to fighting games but over the last 10 years I must say that Mortal Kombat series has literally been taking the fighting game genre to another level and this game definitely looks superb. I've already pre-ordered this game and really looking forward to testing out the beta come the 27th of March 2019 but in April I definitely think that this should be a game for all fighting fans to pick up and even if you're not a fan of the fighting game genre this definitely definitely is going to be a phenomenal fighting game. Anyway peeps, what do you make of the five games that I've mentioned in my list? Is there anything in there that captures your eyes or do you think April is a pretty dry month for games for you to pick up? As always, if you did enjoy this very quick urban gameplay video, be sure to smash that like button, hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so before and until next urban gameplay video, we definitely say peace out peeps. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button for more cool urban gameplay videos. Oh! <laughs>